Our sixth presenter is Samuel Kaplan. He's a sixth year in BCMB in the lab of Danwei Huang Fu, and the title of his talk is Illuminating Pancreatic Development, the Enhancers Controlling Our Genes. All right, Samuel, please come on stage. Uh, no. Genes are often in the spotlight because they are the blueprints for important proteins like insulin. But genes aren't the only things encoded in our DNA. Enhancers are the switches that control our genes. Enhancers are important at every point in our lives, even before we are born. Scientists have found one enhancer, which if it's missing, causes a person to be born without a pancreas, that cheese puff looking thing up there. The pancreas, it produces insulin, and it produces digestive enzymes, and unfortunately, many people are born with pancreatic conditions without a known genetic cause. We think there are other enhancers important for pancreatic development that would explain the disease. But have you ever had a hard time after checking into a hotel and trying to find which light switch controls which light? Trying to find enhancers is something like that. The challenge is that our DNA is very long and the enhancers and genes are sprinkled out throughout the code. That means that even if we find something that looks like a switch, we wouldn't necessarily know the gene under its control. What enabled me to overcome this challenge are recently developed DNA editing tools like CRISPR. First, I found a handful of enhancers and figured out the genes under their control. I decided to focus on one of the enhancers because it controlled a gene mutated in people di in diabetes, and an uh, enhancer to gene distance was among the longest ever found. To really illustrate how unusually far it is, this would be like a light switch in a hotel lobby turning on a light in the penthouse. My next experiment was removing the enhancer, and what I found was that the gene no longer turned on. We think missing this enhancer could be as pathogenic as having a mutation in the gene, and it could cause a pancreas to develop smaller or predispose a person to diabetes. And that's it for my work. But taking a step back, there are many more mysteries in, the, in our genome. Why are enhancers often so far away from the genes they control? What about all that other DNA that isn't enhancers or genes? And finally, how are we going to find all the enhancers for the nearly 20,000 genes in our DNA? It's a lot of questions, but I am confident that at least we will map out all the enhancer to gene connections, and that will allow us to diagnose disease, design gene therapies, or maybe even enhancer therapies. Thank you very much.